Hey guys, welcome to your channel. In this video, you'll learn how to create and manage your invoices using the Sage 50. So the very first thing that you should do is you have to create or sign up for a Sage account. So to do that, you just have to visit this website. But as you can see right here, when you go to Sage website, okay, so let's try to search for Sage. We cannot really find the option where we can sign up for an account okay we can only see here the login option but of course i'm going to show you and how you can manually type out the website so right here you just have to type out accounting that sage one that ceo that's za slash sign up slash default dot aspx and then you'd be able to see this website. So what you're going to do here now is to create your company name. So you just have to type it right here. The product type, your country, your first name, your last name, and then your active mobile number. And then your email. And then you just have to create your password, confirm your password. Then you just have to type out this once of access code. Then after that, what you currently use, you just have to select it right here and then years in business and then the referral code. And then make sure to check this box that you have accepted the terms and conditions. Then once you're done, you'd be now directed to your dashboard. So once you're here, you'd be able to see these different options at the top. So what you have to do is to simply click on the home option. So just click on the home and click on my workspace. That's right, and then just wait for a couple of seconds, and then you'd be directed to this page. Now right here, what do you need to do today? So right here, you'd be able to see your dashboard, your record expenses, create a code, create an invoice. You can also create a credit note and more. So what we're going to do here is to create an invoice. So just simply click on this button right here. And then just wait for a couple of seconds, and now you can start creating your invoice. So here you just have to enter the details of your customer. Okay, so here for the send button, we are going to send this one using email. Then for the options, we have this option. So you just have to select your option. Okay, now for the customer details, the first one is your customer. So you already have the list of your customers. You just have to select your customer. Then after that, you'd be able to see here now the balance. Okay, and then for the invoice details, so you have here the document number, the customer reference, and then from code or sales, and then the orders, you just have to select this one as well. And then for the layout, you have your sales rep right here, so you just have to select your sales representative. And then here, for the customer details, we have the delivery address and then the postal address. So you just have to make sure that all of the important details are here. Okay, so you just have to manually type them out before you create your invoice. So you have here the delivery address and then the postal address. And now for the items, so you just have to include the amount if you want to. So just check the box. Then after that, you can now select your items. Okay, so when you click on this item right here, you'll be able to see the arrow. So you just have to click on it. And then you just have to select your item from your item list. Okay, then after selecting all of the items that you want to create an invoice, you can now type out right here your message and you'll be able to see here the total discount, the total exclusive, and then the total amount. After that, you can now save this one or I can also email it directly. So just simply click on the email option. Then just wait for a couple of seconds and you'll be able to see here now the email tax invoice. So you just have to select your recipient. Okay, and then the email signatures if you want to use the default one to so just simply select the default and then type out right here your message and after that just simply click on the email report option so that's it for this video if you think this video helped you solve your concern please subscribe like this video and leave your comment below bye